Hi seniors, Miss Murphy here, just doing a quick video to walk you through how to activate and utilize your parchment account for transcript purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is search our email for a message from parchment. So you can type in parchment into your search bar. You're gonna find an email that looks like what I'm showing you on the screen. The key is having this green bar that helps us um, be prompted to finish setting up the parchment account. Um, and depending on the time of year, you probably have more than one of these emails waiting for you in your inbox. Um, they start going out mid to late August of each senior year. So if you have more than one, you only need to access one. And we are just going to quickly, quickly click on that green button that says finish setting up your parchment account which then takes you to a page that looks like this. So you are now in a parchment page um, where you wanna make sure that your name is spelled correctly and is correct. Uh, you can see I'm using our CRC assistance information here for process of um, showing you this transcript process. So we're gonna make sure name is correct. We're gonna check that email to make sure it's correct. You are going to create a password, and I think I mistyped mine, so I'm gonna do that again. You're gonna to wanna to remember that password because unless your computer saves it, but I always think it's nice to remember it. You're gonna triple check your date of birth. You're going to enter your gender. You're going to enter your grade level, and then the year that you plan to attend, in, to enter, start college. So for the class of 2025, um, that will be fall of 25. So you wanna make sure all of this information is filled in. Everything with an asterisk has an answer. And then we are gonna move on to the next part, which talks about colleges, scholarship programs, and other institutions that are looking for students like you. This is a question asking if you wanna receive more email, mail to home, et cetera. You're probably already receiving enough of that, so I recommend you select no, but that is a personal choice. Um, and then the next part of the process is, again, similar to Common App for those of you that have completed this process, your FERPA um, privacy rights. You're going to be encouraged to say, I do waive my right, and that is simply stating that I trust that um, school personnel being asked or prompted to send my information, they are going to send accurate and supportive information for my um, application transcript processes. So you are going to select, I do waive my right. I authorize a copy of my credentials to be stored. That's how your transcript from LHS gets processed into parchment. And then I also agree to the parchment terms of use. So I do waive my right, both clicks here, let's go. Your account is now activated. You will be prom prompted to maybe take part in a college search. I recommend just closing this window. There is, you have school links, you have college board, you have niche, you have social media. There is a lot of opportunity for you to be doing your college search. By the time you're in this process, you're probably a little bit further on in the search. And so I just recommend to simplify your process X out of this, don't need it. And now you have activated your transcript within the LHS parchment portal. Um, so anytime that you log in to parchment, you're gonna see this screen and because I just created Ms. Higginson's account, this um, kind of red cross um, T is still kind of a light gray, but within a few hours, this will actually turn into a dark gray. And at any time you can come in, log in here, click on this, and you will be able to see your transcript as it looks through PowerSchool, as it gets, how it looks as it's um, submitted to colleges, military, possible job applications. And this is also where you can order your transcript. So if I click on order, this will allow me to have my transcript sent to schools that need it, that again, remember, are outside of the Common App. So you will not need to do this process for your Common App colleges. Remember that your counselor will be sending those transcripts um, with their 
school report. So you will only be requesting transcripts to specific colleges for those schools that are not um, part of the Common App. So you will select yes, currently attending um, for the class of 25, your first year was 2021. I'm gonna type that in because I don't wanna scroll through. Um, again, that is your first year of attendance. So the fall of your freshman year, and then you're gonna confirm your name, click continue. And then I do want to order a transcript. I am going to select Northern Arizona, a school that I know has some interest from LHS Wildcats and also um, is not processed through the Common App. Um, I want this to be sent now. It does what it will pop up with a fee that goes away. Um, you will never have a fee for your transcript until you have um, graduated. So the fees kick in in July of your graduation year. Just a quick note there. And then you are going to do a mouse or touch screen signature. You're going to type in your name. You are going to consent. You are going to click continue. And then you are going to click complete order. I'm going to do this. Our registrar, Ms. Lentz, is going to wonder why Ms. Higgison ordered a transcript. But now you have a record and you see that your transcript will be sent due to this order you've created to Northern Arizona University. And again, our registrar, Ms. Lentz, processes these requests. So, um, and typically she sends these out within, you know, certainly within about, within five business days, if not quicker. Um, so this process occurs really quickly. You can print this, you can look at this, um, you could place another order, you can continue on to your account. So if you had three or four schools, you could knock all these out. Remember too, you do not have to wait to apply to a college before sending your transcript. So if you wanna check off a, an application task for your non-Common App schools, you can order these transcripts well ahead of actually clicking submit. And then all of those materials will meet at that campus's you know, admissions office through cyberspace. Um, if they get your transcript ahead of your application, all that does is start your file and they're waiting on the rest of your materials. So that is A-OK -okay to send a transcript ahead of actually clicking submit on your application. So again, you've created your account. Your transcript lives here at all times. So if you just wanna see what your transcript looks like, you can pop into this account. If you need your transcript for um, scholarship purposes, for military recruiting purposes, for um, job applications, for a variety of reasons, this portal, this account is always open and ready for you to access, to download, to order, to print, to take a photo of, et cetera. Um, so just a quick overview of how you can access your transcript, how you can order that transcript, and how you can view that transcript 24-7 um, now that senior year has kicked off. All right. Thank you, seniors.